My name's Andy from BCA, and today I'm gonna to take you through signal suppression. Signal suppression is a new tool that we've included in our Tracker 3 Avalanche transceiver. Uh, basically, it's a tool to help you solve multiple burials. How it works is, it suppresses the strongest signal for a minute and shows you the next strongest signal. How I would use this in a scenario, I would be in normal search mode, I'd come up to that first trans transceiver, I'd do my find search, find my lowest distance reading, hit the options button, SS flashes in the screen standing for signal suppression, and it's gonna lock on to the next strongest signal within range. That signal could be 10 meters away. It's gonna cancel out the transceiver I just found and show me the next strongest. It's gonna allow me one minute to get to that second strongest signal. At that point, after a minute's up, or when I hit the options button again, I'll go back into normal search mode and lock on to that next strongest signal. Another feature on Tracker 3 that works really well with signal suppression is our multiple burial indicator. You'll notice these icons on the bottom of the display screen. Two body icons are illuminated. It's letting you know there's at least two signals out there. When that plus sign's illuminated, it lets you know there's more than two. And when the parentheses show up, it lets you know you have a close proximity. So once you find that first transmitter, you don't have to go too far to find the next victim or transceiver. When you enter a signal suppression mode by hitting the options button, you'll notice our multiple burial icons at the bottom of the display screen start flashing. That just designates and lets you know that you're now in signal suppression mode. In signal suppression mode, to go back into normal search mode and lock on to just the strongest signal again, you're just gonna hit the options button once and that'll send you back into normal search mode. So remember, multiple burials don't happen that often. They're easily avoided by having everyone in your group travel one at a time, ski one at a time, ski to safe zones. And these special features like signal suppression only are really useful when you have a lot of manpower available. Someone can start shoveling while you can continue your beacon searching. To learn more on beacon searching, shoveling, probing, and more educational videos, visit backcountryaccess.com.